Hey guys, welcome to the all new MABoss.net video preview show. Basically what I'm going to do is find the latest YouTube videos that are reptile related, show you a small clip of them here, and then give you the full links so you can see the videos in those channels. Alright guys, so the first video we're going to look at is coming from Brant Rustage, aka Major League Reptiles. He picked up this snake from Ken Masick, uh, Acid Extreme Butter, uh, and basically that's supposed to be it, but Brent has a way of looking at animals a little bit differently. He looks a little deeper than, than most of us do. So he's looking at the snake and thinking, well, that's got this line here and this other line here, and kind of putting two and two together in his head, some story about pro exotics and this, I don't know, his brain works a little bit differently. So we'll see him in this video explain how this snake is actually an Extreme Butter Tri-Stripe. Now, you can't really see that it's a tri-stripe, or you can a little bit, but not 100% like the, the regular ones, because the extreme gene, as he explains, is actually fighting the tri-stripe gene, so it looks like this instead of like this. Okay, here's, here's a real beautiful snake that uh, I managed to pick up this year from, from Ken Masick. Really one of the reasons why I was, I was so interested in him to begin with was uh, you know doing a lot of research on a lot of these mutations. I've um, I've studied a lot of their their history and and you know I try to kind of link up what uh, mutations kind of resemble other mutations and and obviously as we can see here, this guy has a lot of of, of tri stripe characteristics going on. This definitely reminded me a lot of of the old um, pro exotics uh, stripe which. Um, which eventually, out of that same breeding, they popped out their own line of tri-stripes. So um, it had me thinking, well, is the extreme gene a lot like the PE stripe? And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I really think it's, it's the same thing. And this is, in fact, a tri-stripe combo. So there you have it, guys. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I agree with Brent's theory on this one. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that he's right. But it also might be reaching a little bit, so I guess we just have to wait and see till he breeds it out to know for sure. Speaking of Ken Masick, can you believe this guy's luck? Now, most of you guys know that my season started out pretty not so great. So when I saw this video pop up online, I was like, Really? Really, Ken? You've got to be kidding me. All right, all right, I'm just kidding. Obviously, I'm happy for the guy, but it's incredible that in the clutch they had seven eggs when he bred a pastel banana to a normal, he actually got seven bananas out of the thing. Now, he does mention in the video that one of them actually died, but even the dead one was a banana, he still has six of them left in one clutch, which is pretty incredible if you ask me, so check this out. 2013, uh, first clutch of bananas, bred a pastel banana to normal, got seven eggs, one died, it was a banana, uh, it's pretty upsetting. It appears that uh, seven eggs, I have seven bananas, one died, so I have six bananas now, It still is pretty awesome. Congratulations to Ken on such an incredible clutch, and I hope the rest of the season keeps going that good, because that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Now this last video, I actually can't stop watching. It comes to us from Marcus Jane Ball Pythons up in Canada, and it's actually just a time-lapse video of a clutch of ball pythons coming out of the egg. That's all I have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what I put together, and if you did, please make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and also share this video on Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Heck, if you're one of the seven people so using MySpace, 
Throw it on there too, why not? See you next time.